Hi, this is Ben with SkyFi Audio. Today we're going to take a look at our Amplitrex AT1000 tube tester. This is kind of an industry standard tube tester. It's a very nice modern tester uh, that has a lot of good features in it that, that make it ideal for hi-fi purposes. So we use this tester to match output tubes and also to verify um, tubes within a circuit on an amplifier that we get in use, we want to make sure that the, the tubes that it goes out with are going to be stable and, and, and last and perform well on the circuit. So I'm just going to run uh, a couple tests with you guys so that you can see kind of what we go through when we're doing one of these checks. So I'm going to start out with a very typical hi-fi dual triode tube, the 6922. So I'm going to load this guy into the socket. And what I have here on the display is a list of all the different tubes that this unit uh, can check. And this is very similar to uh, a roll chart in a vintage tube tester. Basically, there's memory inside of this unit that stores information about all these vacuum tubes and allows us to call them up and run tests based on those parameters. So I'm gonna select the 6922, and inside of the window I have uh, uh, indications that it's going to test this tube at a 90 volt uh, plate voltage, 6.3 volt filament, Plate, it's aiming for a plate current of 15 milliamps. Uh, that's the reference that it's going to judge this tube against. And uh, it's looking for a mutual conductance of 12.5. Of so basically what, what these two numbers are, are the, what's considered the new old stock spec for the tube. And when the test is complete, this unit will give me a readout based on a scale of 100%. If it tests directly at 15 milliamps plate current, then it's going to give me a reading of 100%. For, uh, for the plate current. If it's higher, it'll give me 110, 109, whatever. Uh, if a tube's really weak, I might be at 30 or 40%. Uh, so that's kind of how this works. It judges it based on, a, uh, on an ideal spec. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this test. And the first thing that's gonna happen here is it's got a one, one minute warm up. So it's going to heat the filaments here and, and let the tube warm up and, and start conducting. And once that minute is done, it's going to run an automatic test. We have the ability to toggle this into manual mode, which gives us the ability to listen to the tube itself. So we can plug in a set of headphones and, and tap the, the tube bottle with a pen uh, and listen to see if the elements within the tube are, are moving or, or responding to vibrations in a way that might creep into the audio signal. So that's a super useful feature when we're analyzing preamp tubes like a typical dual triode or a, or a small bottle pentode. So this is going to be warmed up in another 20 seconds. After the test on this one is complete, we're going to test this tube here. This is another 6922. It's a current production Russian Genelex 6922 gold pin. And this is something that we pulled out of a Conrad Johnson preamp. And normally you'd see a tube like this and be like, oh, that, that tube's probably fine. This is current production. It looks like it's a really high quality tube. But what happened is we had a really nasty channel imbalance. The left channel was way, way weaker than the right when we looked at it on a scope. And flipping the tube positions from left channel to right channel, we found that it followed the vacuum tube. So we were able to take that tube out, put it on the checker and verify that it was weak. So I'll show that here in a second after we have a reference from this first 6922. So, this is a, a dual triode. It's, it finished the test on the first section. Now it's going to run the second section and it'll be done here in just a moment. Okay, so now it spit out some results. On, on the left side, it gives us the emission, which is the, um, uh, the percentage of, of on-spec plate current, I guess. So uh, we're reading at 14.8 milliamps, which the tester is telling us is at 98% of new old stock spec and mutual conductance of 96%. Uh, in layman's terms, mutual conductance is simply uh, the voltage that you feed into the control grid of the tube. What does that equal in, uh, in plate current on the, on the output of the tube? So it's measured in milliamps per volt. So for each volt uh, that enters the grid, we're getting 12.1 milliamps of current. So this tube on the first section is very close to new old stock spec. If I press this down arrow, it's gonna show us the second section, which is giving me 97% and uh, 107%. So this tube is actually pretty closely balanced as well. Um, it, it doesn't meet our, our like gold standard cutoff for a balanced triode, but this is some, a tube that would perform pretty darn well in service where the tube needed to have balanced sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this test and we're gonna throw in the other one.
this one's pins are a little bit bent, so there we go. All right, we're gonna start up this test, and while that's warming up, I'm gonna go over another uh, example here. So this is a set of GE 6550s made in the USA, and uh, we found them in these boxes. And a lot of times with new old stock tubes, it's hard to tell if they're actually new or not. And this tester allows us to get a better idea of that. So I'm gonna pull these two tubes out, and we're going to look at the, the measurements that, that we got from the Amplitrex. So if we look at both of these, on the left-hand side, I have my emission spec, and on the right-hand side, I have my mutual conductance, and then I also uh, took the time to write down the, the plate current at the test uh, condition set up by the, the tester. So you can see these tubes are very, very closely matched, and they are testing a little bit above new old stock spec. Chances are these tubes have never been in service in an amplifier, and this is something that, that we could offer as an upgrade to one of our customers if they want to put a really fancy new old stock set of tubes in will have match sets like this available for purchase. So that's just another example of things that we can do with this tester. Not only does it tell us if things are good or bad, but it allows us to verify condition of new old stock tubes and then properly match tubes so that they work as good as possible in the output section of circuits. So this just started its test uh, on the second triode, so it should be done here pretty quickly. And it's giving us a plate current readout there uh, in real time, so we could see already that this is going to be weak. So we're at 36% and 31%, and then the other triode in there is at 50% and 45%. So this tube is pretty out of balance with itself. One section is not balanced with the other, and it's testing very weak compared to that other tube that we put in. Um, so that's kind of our general uh, demonstration of the AT1000. I might do a more in-depth video a little bit later, but this kind of gives you a general idea of what um, happens when a new amplifier comes in to us and, and uh, we're putting the tubes through the tester. Thanks for watching.